Hi, my name is Christian Lee Hudson, and I'm going to show you the intro to my song, Talk, today. Um, so, starting off, I guess uh, the gear I'm using is just, this is a Martin 0018. You can use, like, any, any guitar, really. Um, this is just what I prefer to play on when I'm at home, because it's really, it is just a sturdy guitar. Um, I have... Um, this is like a Thalia custom shop capo. Um, I have a bunch of these. They're great. They're based in San Francisco and they just, you can kind of, they're adjusted for any kind of tension of guitar, uh, uh, any string tension rather. Um, so yeah, um, this song is in drop D with a capo on the second fret and it's based out of um, D shapes, but you're gonna ignore I would just ignore the the high E string because you don't really need it and it's not necessarily part of the picking pattern. Um, cool, so I'll play the riff for you first at the speed that I do it and then I'll try and slow it down and break it down a little bit. So it sounds like this. Um, so basically what I'm doing is my thumb is playing like the bass line kind of melody, or that's how I think about it, which is this. And then in between my index finger and my middle finger are kind of like arpeggiating so that it's like filling the gaps in between and it sounds like little like uh, pizzicato things. I should also mention that I'm using this, uh, I have like a little piece of foam here that I put right underneath the string so it mutes everything kind of, um, which helps it sound not like horrible and like ringing out for everything. Um, cool. So. As you're kind of grabbing that lower bass line kind of melody, you're mainly, you're mainly reaching out of like either open strings or fretting with your ring finger and your pinky. So I'm gonna do like a very slow version of it with the arpeggiating in between. Yeah, so really the only time you're even leaving the, the D shape that's the second fret and the third fret of the G and B string is once you get to that G chord, uh, which is down here, then you're gonna just lift and use the open B string as part of your arpeggiation alternation. I don't know what I would call it. So it sounds like that when you get to the G part. Um, yeah, and that's it. I hope that was helpful and that breaks it down for you. Have a good day.